Falcon 9 is in startup. All right, there we heard the call out. Falcon 9 is in startup, meaning the flight computers now have control of the launch countdown. Go for launch. All right, that was our final go for launch coming from our launch director. So now at T minus 30, T -minus seconds, 30 seconds, all systems remain go for launch. Let's watch as Falcon 9 takes our 59 spacecraft into orbit. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off. The more D chamber pressure than all. Vehicles pitching down range. Now T plus 43 seconds into flight. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Power and telemetry nominal. We're currently throttling down those M1D engines in preparation for max Q, which we're expecting at T plus one minute and 12 seconds. For those that might be unfamiliar, max Q is when the vehicle experiences vehicle supersonic. the greatest amount of aerodynamic pressure. Great view of the Space Coast. Max Q. All right, there we heard that call out for Max Q. Everything remaining nominal with stage one trajectory. We have five events coming up in quick succession, starting with Miko or main, chill. main engine cutoff. We just heard the call for MVAC chill, meaning the second stage is now uh, preparing for its ignition. Um, as I said, we start with Miko stage separation and SES one or second engine start one followed by stage one flip and boost back burn. As the name suggests, main engine cutoff, beautiful there, uh, beautiful view there from Falcon 9 of those, uh, the plume from the main engines. We're gonna shut those down and shortly thereafter, separate the first and second stages. Second stage will continue its journey onto orbit. And the first stage is going to, as I mentioned before, make it's returned back to landing zone one. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And that ignition. Pretty amazing view there of our second stage. We can see on the left-hand side of your screen, the first stage performing its flip maneuver. The flip, of course, is required in order to reorient the first stage so that it actually flies back toward Florida. You can think of it kind of like a giant U-turn. <laughs> Everything continues to look nominal with the second stage. Beautiful glow from the MVAC engine there on the right-hand side of your screen. Stage one boost back shutdown. All right, that boost back burn has concluded. That is the first of three burns that the first stage will perform today. Coming up next, we will have fairing deployment, expecting that to occur in 10 seconds. We can see deployment of the grid fins there on the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen. Bearing separation confirmed. There's our first view of some of our payloads today. We can see that the fairing halves have now separated 
phone away from the vehicle, exposing the 59 spacecraft to the vacuum of space. Today's mission marks the second flight for both of those fairing halves, and we will be attempting to recover them from the water once they fall back to Earth. We're currently in the first of two MVAC burns planned for today. The first burn should last until T plus eight minutes and 30 seconds, so another four minutes on that burn. The next milestone will be the first stage booster's entry burn. As I mentioned before, the first stage is performing three maneuvers today. This entry burn is designed to slow the booster down before it hits the dense part of the Earth's atmosphere. Without this burn, relying on the atmosphere alone to slow down Falcon 9 would put unnecessary strain Vehicle on the rocket. On terminal trajectory. All right, there we heard a call out that we have nominal trajectory. As I mentioned earlier, Transporter 5 is our fifth dedicated SmallSat rideshare program mission and our 22nd mission of 2022. SpaceX is targeting at least three dedicated rideshare flights to sun synchronous orbit per year, and we also offer opportunities for a ride to orbit on our Starlink missions, which launch every couple of weeks. SmallSats can ride to space on SpaceX's Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Starship in the not too distant future. We're about one minute away from that entry burn. As you can see on the left hand side of your screen, we have deployed the grid fins. Falcon 9 has four of those hypersonic grid fins positioned near the top of the first stage. And it's using nothing but those grid fins for steering as it makes its return to Earth. That is at least until we light the center engine for landing. You also might notice some white puffs here and there. Uh, those are cold nitrogen gas bursts, which help with attitude control. To put deceleration into perspective, around 60 seconds away from landing, the first stage is moving about 2,000 miles per hour. Then, in less than a minute, we rapidly reduce the speed in order to prepare for landing. The first stage slows down to about 90 miles per hour when the landing two, legs is saved. Uh, slows down to about 90 miles per hour when the landing legs deploy. Stage one entry burn startup. All right, there we heard the call out that the entry burn has begun. You can see that on the left hand side of your screen. Again, this is the second of two maneuvers performed by the first stage today for yeah, its for its return to LZ-1. As I mentioned before, um, we are attempting to recover this and it will be the eighth time um, for this booster. Entry burn shut down. And we're also targeting to land at landing zone one. First stage has just one more burn left, the landing burn. And that begins just before touchdown and provides the booster with a soft descent right before Stage landing. one FTS is saved. Once we get through the clouds, you should have a pretty clear view of the Space Coast with LZ-1, which is our targeted destination. Falcon 9 has four landing legs made of carbon fiber with aluminum Start honeycomb. Terminal guidance. They are placed... Stage 1 transonic. They're placed symmetrically around the base of the rocket, and they deploy just prior to landing, as we'll see momentarily. Stage one burn. All right, you can see that that landing burn has begun just before Falcon 9 lands. We're expecting the shutdown of the MVAC second stage. Uh, just after landing, one of our 59 spacecraft will not, that will not separate from the vehicle will activate, and you should hear that call out over the nets. Let's listen in for these activities happening in quick sequential order. Stage one landing like four. MVAC shutdown. Stage one landing confirmed. Atmos Mars level one, it's through an activation confirmed. Tapping out or deploying insertion. All right, as you just heard, we had nominal orbit insertion, so we've got a good orbit following that second engine cutoff. 
And as you saw on your screen, another successful landing for Falcon 9, uh, bringing our total successful F9 first stage landings to 115. As you could also tell by the cheers behind me, it never gets old here. <laughs> we also heard the activation for one of our payloads that will not be deploying from the spacecraft. Um, with that, we're going to take a short break and come back in about 45 minutes for the relight of our second stage, followed shortly thereafter by the first 26 scheduled deployments. Stick around and we'll see you soon.